Today is also the first day of summer and it definitely feels like it outside hot temperatures over the next couple of days. Although it may feel nice, they do come with some dangers. NBC 26's Brooke Hayes is live in Ashwaubenon with tips on how to keep your children safe. Good morning, Brooke. Haley, every summer there are tragic deaths that happen when children are left alone inside of hot cars. And sadly, that can happen in just five minutes or less. Now, according to the safety group Kids and Cars, more than 600 U.S. children have died since 1990 from overheating in a hot car. Sometimes this happens when a driver forgets the child is there, but it can also happen when a child gets into unlocked cars without an adult knowing. Already this year, a total of four children have died over the last two weeks after being left in hot cars. Advocacy groups are emphasizing that drivers need to look before they lock. So the idea is to open that back door every single time you park your vehicle and check the back seat. The auto industry is taking steps to prevent these incidents. Beginning with its 2017 Acadia SUV, General Motors is equipping each with a rear seat reminder displayed on the dashboard as well as a chime that sounds. Now here's a few good rules to follow. No exceptions, no matter how brief. And remind yourself to by leaving yourself a purse or a diaper bag in the back seat. Don't let your kids play in your car or make sure the car doors are locked when you're not using it. And if your child takes the school bus, make sure the transportation company follows safety protocols such as a bus driver walking through the bus to make sure no child is left on board at the end of a route. Now if you happen to notice a child left inside of a hot car, make sure to call 911 immediately. Um, if you do feel like that child is in distress because of the heat, it is important to get them out as quickly as possible. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon this morning, Brooke Hafes, NBC 26.